This is going to be a weird video. Hey everyone, it's Iris. This is a video for my AP Chemistry class. We had an assignment to make a video, so yeah, and I need to upload on Friday anyways, so here we are. This is kind of weird because the kids in my AP Chem class will be seeing this video, and normally I edit things for classes a little bit differently than for my YouTube channel, but <laughs> tangents! I'm just gonna get into it. Alright, first off, you need to put on some eye protection. I can't really see right now, but let's pretend I can and just, I'm wearing these. I'm being safe. Use protection. Next up, we have the balloon. It can be any color, but I, in particular, have chosen a yellow one. You're gonna need some skizzers and some ribbon or string or even just like a ruler if you want. Mm. And then also a bowl of cold icy water like this. Oh, that was a poor decision. Today I'm gonna be demonstrating Charles Law, which basically states that V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2, which basically means that for any gas, if you increase the temperature, the volume will also go up, but if you decrease the temperature, the volume will go down, which is what I'm going to be demonstrating today. Here we go. Step one, blow up your balloon. <laughs> I'm keeping it kind of small so it actually fits in my bowl, but you know, do what do what you do. Gotta do the loop do not success. Ugh. Next up, I'm gonna measure around the diameter with a ribbon just so I can kind of test it, you know? So I'm gonna measure around. Oh, well, oh, there goes all my ribbon. I'm just gonna cut this ribbon with these scissors right here. Boop. This is very precise. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the bowl of water. That's just gonna be in there. We can have a dance party. <laughs> Behold, the bowl of water plus balloon. I'm gonna try to like hold it down in there so that it actually gets cold because that's probably important. While we're waiting for this to be done, I'm gonna do a little example question with you. Okay, so it's been a little while and I'm gonna take this out. Okay, so measuring this this way around, it's maybe slightly smaller, not really. I think it's shrunk in the other direction. Like, I know that sounds ridiculous. It's definitely smaller than it was before. And I know that measuring the circumference of this is not really a way to get the volume of it, which is what's actually being measured. So like, I don't know what to tell you, it's smaller. <laughs> I'm a bad chemist, don't do what I do. But I tried and that's what counts. I'm gonna leave this off here now that I've embarrassed myself in front of my AP Chem class enough. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, remember to leave a like, and maybe subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. When you like and subscribe, just let me know you enjoy my content, and also listen to your notifications whenever I upload. That's pretty much it. Remember to be confident and love yourself. That's all, I guess. Okay, so I know this video is really weird, and it's for my AP Chem class, but please don't kill me. I tried on it. I don't have time to do something else right now. Uh. This is the weirdest video I've ever made by far. I almost spilled water all over my desk. I didn't really think this through about how long this would take. Cringing at my future self editing this video. Charles, work. Like I said, this is for my AP Chem class. Uh, you may have heard me mention it before. I'm really concerned that this video is gonna be terrible. What is my life? I don't know. I have a balloon in a bowl of ice water. The secret behind these glasses is that I'm actually crying, you just can't see it.